first point SMU's had against the BCS uh, school in, in 10 years. Is that any significance in that? Or any well, uh, I, did, I, w I would just read that in the paper uh, uh, Thursday or Friday. I think somebody had it in the paper and I didn't, uh, wasn't aware of that. Um, well, it is, uh, you know, I, w w what I've talked about doing since I came to SMU is being able to have a home field advantage and win at home. And uh, I think we're seven and one in the last eight games. And uh, to be a really a good football team and a championship team, you have to win your home games and then you got to steal a few on the road along the way. And if you do that, doesn't matter if you're in the National Football League or if you're in Conference USA, then you're probably going to feel good about yourself at the end of the year. After playing the first half, holding them on their first possession in that long drive, what was the difference about that drive compared to what was going on in the first half? Well, um, you know, it's 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 hard to I, it's hard to say. I mean, I, I, when I when I call the plays and watch, I I, I kind of I'm looking at the coverage, thinking the ball is going to go somewhere, and then when it doesn't go there, I look back and uh, whatever happened, we you know got a pressure, he had to slide around, couldn't make the throw. I thought Kyle did a lot of good things today. Uh, I thought he uh, that 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 drive at the end of the first uh, the start of the second half, you know, when we overcame those two penalties and still went down 12 plays and put it in, ate up I think about eight minutes or nine minutes of the clock. That was a you know pretty pretty good drive, and uh, I thought that you know he ran around and made some things happen. Uh, he's got room for improvement, but you know hey. I don't know what he completed today, but the four touchdown passes, uh, he, uh, he played good enough to win today. Okay. Continuing with that, but you mentioned the, the two false start penalties put you um, mm -hmm. second and 13. Or something. And, then, uh, and then he hit Darius for a first down. That was He went three for three on third downs yeah. on that yeah. series. So that seemed like particularly be a big play. Well, we, we haven't been very good at third down conversions so far, and so I was glad to see him do that. And uh, I think we ended up five for twelve. That's the first thing I looked at. Uh, and you know, a lot of that uh, sometimes it are it, you know are things out of his control for the success. But today, uh, he he did what he was supposed to do in, in some key situations and made some key throws. And, and um, I think even the last touchdown was third down, I believe, uh, on, on that that, that play. Uh, And he, uh, you know, he did what he was supposed to do, throw it high and away to the inside and out, got both feet down uh, for the touch. So that was pretty, pretty good to see. Can you talk about your pass rush on defense and maybe what you guys did in the second half to generate even more of that than you did in the first half? <clears throat> well, we did, you know, obviously we do a lot of zone blitz and then Jagarit is uh, fit to be wrecking up. And Jagarit is, uh, uh, <laughs> it's going to be fun to be around here for the next uh, couple of years watching him uh, continue to get bigger and faster. Uh, Taylor Thompson, I thought, you know, just showed up. He, he had some unbelievable pressures. I thought, you know, overall, he, uh, when we zone blitzed them, we, we were bringing it. Taylor and 52 and 56. I mean, we were all coming. Yuri had a couple sacks, I think, or was right there on a couple. Uh, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, tighten down the back end. Uh, and and if, we, if we can do that and not give up the big plays, I think our, I said this before the season, I think our front seven is pretty good. What was your interpretation of that punt return? Well, um, you know, I, 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 I can't comment on it. I, like <laughs> I, mean, I had an interpretation of it, but I don't even think I want to say it because my pocketbook is not big enough for that. Can you kind of talk about the chemistry that we're putting the drum and Otto Robinson today developing? Can you talk about that? Yeah, well, those, those two kids have really worked hard uh, all throughout the summer, and uh, Al had a couple of really nice, uh, he had a couple of really nice uh, uh, corner routes today, that that was timing that those guys had, had done. We missed one early in the game, uh, he overthrew it a little bit, uh, which I was a little bit surprised on, but that happens, I guess, uh, sometimes. Uh, but, you know, all in all, Al is a, Al's a big play player, and uh, you know, I'm glad to see him get a little, uh, you know, get a little uh, uh, of success, so that he'll he'll just continue to to uh, uh, fit to be reckoned with. Because he he's a he's a good football player. He had seven catches coming into today. Was he frustrated by? Well, I think his I think uh, you know the, the 
the, the thing that guys have to remember is that uh, is that it's not about them, you know, it's, it's about the team. And, and uh, you know, we're doing what we have to do. And uh, a lot of times it's frustrating because they run so many routes and practice so hard. And uh, when they look at the film, they're going to see we had other opportunities to make more plays. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully hit our stride at the right time here. Had a shot to win all three games. Uh, we didn't play good enough to win all three games, but we had a shot to win them. And uh, that's all we wanted to do, and just hope to keep getting better as we uh, progress along the season. Um, second scoring drive in the second half. The quick one started at midfield. The drone came over to the side. He looked like he was going to start to slide, but then he stayed up. The good news for you is you got a 15 yard penalty. Yeah. The bad news is you got clobbered. You prefer he. Yeah, Slide most definitely. Point. But you know, it's hard to when you get a competitive kid like Kyle. It's hard to, you know, he wants to do. He slid a couple times today, which I was yeah. glad to see. But uh, I think he thought he was going to get out of bounds before that guy got it. You know, in the first three games, he's taken a lot of shots. Are you worried about how he's going to hold up this season? Um, yes, yes. We we haven't uh, protected him, and some of those are his, you know, too. Some of those he shouldn't uh, should have thrown the ball. So it's it's not just uh, uh, it, it's a it's a team deal, you know. But I am concerned. Yeah, to be quite honest. You talked about building a home field advantage. Are you concerned that next Friday <laughs> you won't have that advantage in your own stadium? Um, well, we competed with them last year in their stadium, and uh, I really thought you know we didn't play very well last year. The kids. Uh, I, I learned what a TCU uh, uh, you know, game was like last year. The kids uh, turned it up and played hard. And I'm sure they're going to, you know, they play hard uh, the same way. I mean, they, they're coming here and they're not going to, you know, they, if, if a call last year had not, the, the fumble deal had not been overruled, that would have been a very competitive game by, by the end. Now, they probably would have beat us, but at the same time, it would, would have been a pretty competitive situation. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll show up, we'll play hard, and hopefully we'll make enough plays to be competitive with it. Speaking of home field advantage, what has been your response to the attendance for these first two games? Well, my, my feeling on it is this, that that we have a lost generation, you know, here. And, and it's not because of anything we've done. You know, it's because of the 25 years of, of you know, and, and so the people that are coming are the people that remember the wins in the 80s. And those are the people that are in the stands. And we have more students <clears throat> than we've ever had uh, for the last two games. And I don't know about today, but I know last week was more than they've ever had. So what we're doing is winning and starting to create another you know, tradition. And so you know, it's still going to be some time here before we build to what we need to do. But you know, hopefully we'll get guys like Willie K to come out and people come here. What did you see in practice from Keenan Holman that made you decide to go with him in the starting line? Um, Keenan is uh, Keenan's going to be a good player. He just needs to play. And uh, he's a freshman. He caught, he caught a ball there at the end of the, which I was happy to see. Uh, that'll, that'll give him great confidence. Um, but he, he can run and he's smart. And the most important thing about Keenan Holman, he wants to be good. He studies it. He's going to be a good player. It looked like in warm-ups, Sterling Moore was dressed down, full uniform, appeared ready to go, and then he was in shorts after that. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with that, but that's uh, the doctor's uh, decision after kind of you know going through it. And uh, you know we'll be glad that he, he has another week to get ready for next week. What you think was any comments you placed? Um, you know, Benny did some good things, but you know he he, he uh, also you know he got uh, you know they're they're. Got a size advantage on, on a couple of the throws, but but he was there. You know, I, I was happy the way he played and didn't make any mental mistakes. You know, he got the, you know he did what he had to do for us to win the game. He made some plays. Right. So did the doctor rule out more after the warmups or? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And I was kind of leaving it up to him. He was disappointed, but. I think uh, that's the best in the best interest of Sterling. He, he's going he's gonna to be a player in the National Football League and I, you know, risk his career. <clears throat> Anything else?
Anything else? Thank you very much.